Hey guys, today I'm going to show you this fall makeup look and I really like dark lips for fall so that's what I did. I did pretty soft eyes with a little bit of eyeliner and then this dark ombre lip. And I'm actually filming this video today which is Wednesday, not Friday because I'm going to upload this video on Friday while I'm going to be out in a vacation in Ontario, Canada. I'm really excited for that. The flight is tomorrow so I'm filming this video today so I will be able to upload this while I'm uh, there. So I'm excited for that and I hope you like how it looks like and if you want to see how I created this then just keep on watching. For my base I'm going to use my Sigma Persuade eyeshadow base which is just a nude color and I'm going to apply that all over my lid using my finger. I'm going to take that all the way up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to take my MAC Brulee eyeshadow, which is again a nude, oh my god, just fell, which is a nude shade, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid using my MAC 252 flat brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And then a little bit under my eyebrow. For my crease color, I'm going to take my MAC uh, Brun eyeshadow, which is a dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to use that with my um, Sigma E45 brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and apply it to my crease very lightly because it is a very dark color so you want to be careful with that I'm going to apply it all the way in the inner corner and then kind of connect it with my contouring on the nose and then on this outer edge I'm just going to blend it out towards the temples then you can take a little bit more if you want to darken it up but it's better to use little by little and just build the color rather than going with lots of color on the brush because then you probably will get like stains and it won't be as soft and as smooth you want to make sure to blend that well Then to blend the outer edges a little bit more, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is my Sigma E25 and my Sigma Smokescreen Palette. I'm going to take Thunderhead, which is this color. You can see me using this color a lot. I really like it. It's a really soft brown. And with that fluffy brush, I'm just going to take this color to the outer edges of the darker brown on the crease. Then I want to darken the crease a little bit more. This little hair just drives me nuts. I want to darken um, the crease a little bit more and I want to create almost like a cut crease. So I'm going to take a more of a precise brush. This is E20 by Sigma. I'm going to take brown again, the darker brown by MAC we use in the crease. And then I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my crease and apply a little bit more of this dark brown and blend it out. And you can see I'm not going all the way to the inner corner, uh, to the outer corner on this outer edge. I'm not going to connect it with my lash line. I'm just stopping right there and creating kind of a straight line when I open my eye. Like so. Then I'm going to take my blending brush again and you can just go over this to blend it out even more. Then for my eyeliner I'm going to take a black pencil because I want it to be a little bit softer than a liquid or a gel liner. So I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in number OL which is the matte black. 
and I'm going to apply that close to my lash line halfway in and you can get a little bit messy with that that's okay because we're going to blend that out later and now to blend it out I'm going to take my Sigma small angle brush this is E65 and I'm going to go over this pencil and just blend it and soften it And then you can fix any little gaps you ha you might have or any bumps you get with the pencil. Just smooth it out. And on this outer edge, I'm just going to wing it outwards. Then to intensify the color a little bit more, and to set the eyeliner in place, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. This is by Sephora and it's must have number six. It's just kind of an ashy black. And with the same angled brush, I'm just going to apply this color over the black liner. Last but not least, I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. So I know I want to do a dark lip. I love burgundy lips for fall, but I don't want to leave it just flat. I want to add a little bit more of a dimension. So I decided I'm going to do a ombre lip using a darker black pencil um, around the outer edges of my lip. So first, just to outline my lips and create the borders of the color that I want around my lip, I'm going to use a burgundy lip pencil. This is Vino by MAC. And I'm going to just outline my lips with that. I'm going to just lightly fill it in. Now moving on to the lipstick, I'm going to use Diva by MAC, which is a very dark burgundy shade. Now to blend it out and smooth it out, I like to go over with a lip pencil. I'm going to use my L05 by Sigma and just blend the color in. I forgot to mention that if your lips are dry, you want to use a uh, lip balm before you apply any color. Now for the shading, I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero and I'm just going to outline my lips with that. Once you're done with that, you want to just shade a little bit on the outer corners. And then just blend it in with the lip brush again. And that's the finished look. The black gives it a little bit more of a dimension and it looks less flat. I really like this kind of ombre dark lips for fall. I really hope you like it too and I'm going to talk to you all next Friday.